uh, in March March of this year, uh, we had a snowstorm, and a snowstorm on the Oregon coast is is a very in infrequent of event. Uh, we ended up having a lot of wet snow, took down a lot of a lot of our lines. We had customers out for up to eight days. Uh, we haven't had a storm like that in 20 years, uh, and. What, what we did was, it was interesting that we had about 10,000 of our meters were, were deployed. And so we looked at it in, in real time. The system just told us exactly that, that we had meters out and how many were out. Um, and it also, uh, the thing that was interesting about it was that uh, when we went back and looked at the analytics the, or the, the, the information from command center, that uh, uh, we, we lost about three or four hours worth of reads. Uh, during during the storm event, but as soon as uh, the system started coming back up, we started picking up reads, and we got reads back at a pretty high level of the of the customers, which uh, which were still energized. And so we were able to uh, provide real time to our operations staff, and they were just excited because right uh, before we have this system, uh, the only way we'd know if there's outages uh, from a customer level, the customer would have to call. We'd never know when that customer was restored. And in some cases, we would bypass them on a major event like this one when we're out for seven, seven days or eight days. And so with, uh, with our new AMI system, with the RF mesh, uh, that was able to kind of, when it's back on and rehealing, it it'd come back and tell us that uh, the customers are, are, are re-energized and so all is good at that point. What we found that was really unique about the RF mesh uh, system was that how quickly, when it recovered, uh, it recovered it went right back to normal uh, as we started picking back up the customers uh, we started getting our load profile uh, reads were coming in and the system was was really resilient in fact uh, what was interesting it, it it healed itself in a stronger communication uh, path as, as we saw it um, as you're deploying meters sometimes those meters will will come in and talk to a, a router which ends up going to one collector but when the system goes down like it did and it came back up and and it really, it, it started working well, and four hours into, uh, into this storm event, we were back to 99.9% .9 reads, which was, it was beyond our, our wildest uh, uh, imagination in terms of how successful this, this uh, uh, project would be.